is a world This is a world premiere This is a world premiere I have been through a whole lot Trial tribulation but I know God Hey, Rich here, and welcome back to the blog and the return of the Fruitarian. It's day 45 of my 60-day raw food challenge. Things continue to go along smoothly. So, over the past few days, I've posted a series of videos criticizing the vegan movement for being, um, well, for a lack of vision. And by focusing solely on issues of animal rights, or perhaps health, or perhaps the environment, vegans can lose sight of how other issues play a role in reinforcing destructive systems under capitalism. Um, I even talked about how the agricultural farming industry that makes it possible for veganism to exist on a large scale under the capitalist model becomes a system promoting cruelty, suffering, and even death, something that many vegans, at least those posting here, are against. This week, we lost an incredible human being and colleague of mine, Grace Lee Boggs. Um, Grace Lee Boggs spent much of her life advocating for civil rights and labor rights, and she became a noted figure in the Detroit Black Power movement. Um, I met her in 2012, and within a few months, I'd become part of a network of individuals and groups working towards social transformation on a grassroots level in both Detroit and Brooklyn, adhering to common values and practicing something called visionary organizing, of which Grace Lee Boggs was a leading advocate. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with visionary organizing, it's seeking to undo capitalist modes of thought in which individuals or interest groups focus on how to get more for themselves, often at the expense of others somewhere else in the world. It calls for us to develop alternative institutions and communities that facilitate a reimagining of ourselves beyond capitalist categories. It's what Martin Luther King called a radical revolution of values. So today I want to give some thought to, or call on those in the vegan movement to give some thought to, um, what would visionary organizing look like within the vegan movement? What would reimagining the food system look like? What would reimagining the reason that we eat require from us, or reimagining our concept of health and wellness. I was really lucky back in July, I got to be part of Grace Lee Boggs' 100th birthday celebration in Detroit. Um, and I also want to turn you on to a documentary about the life of Grace Lee Boggs. It's called American Revolutionary, The Evolution of Grace Lee Boggs. I'll put a link to it here. Um, I hope that you'll watch it and I hope that you'll post some, um, you know, post and let me know what you think. Um, and before I go today, I also want to shout out Rachel, AKA Check Your Activism, and personally thank her for challenging me to think more deeply about intersectionality, which is something that I think anyone who's interested in social change, you know, really, um, you know, will, will develop an understanding of intersectionality. Um, I also want to thank you, Rachel, for your response to my video on racism, and I also want to thank you for being a fan of James Baldwin. I am also a huge James Baldwin fan. Um, for the rest of you, um, be sure that you like this post if you like it, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Again, this is Reg, checking out now on day 45 of my 60-day raw food challenge. I hope you all remember to love yourselves and... Peace.